model superstar mene or menai whatever you want to say is all good mene donko is a guest of course sule is also biking his way into the studios but we have mene joining us right here how are you doing? Man, how are you doing? How are you? I'm well, thank you. The ever you? gorgeous, dashing. Oh, wow. Adorable. I'm <laughs> thank you. So, let's set the record straight with, the, with your name. I mean, the pronunciation of it. Is it Menaye? Is it Mene? Is it, what is it? We've been through this several times. Mm. It's a funny name. Okay. Minoye. Oh, Mina, 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 yes. Oh, Mina, 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 Mina. my mother is good. Good, that's yes. right. Uh-huh. Okay, so the funny name, Mina, 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 Mina. Ah, okay. <laughs> so now we've got it. So Mina, Donko, most welcome. Thank you. And yes, you're right here on Star One Zero Three Point Five FM. It's going to be an explosive, exciting interview. That I can assure you. My name is Bolare, and this is Star Chat. Probably brought to you by Guaranteed Trust Bank. Wouldn't you rather bank? with us a big thank you to bell aqua mineral water bell aqua probably ghanian johnny walker keep walking and apollonia city oh my word you should visit this city that is coming up it's lovely apollonia city thanks so much for sponsoring us and premium motors thank you and as well as stella lodge and apartments in takradi they will let you feel like a royal this show is also live on Ultimate 106.9 FM in Kumasi. We're live in Takradi, Ketsi Empire, 102.7 FM. And in Ho, the Volta region, 103.5 FM. That is Cool FM. Wow. Mene ye, donko, mina uye. Mina uye, inyong. Wow. What is then? Bibi aboko de? Bibi aboko. You look good? Thank you. Wow. And uh, as we get ready to have Sule join us in the studio, I would like to say welcome once again. But, you know, in everything, how are you guys doing? Very well. Mm. You know, um, we're a young couple. We have a, a little one now, Jamal, so he's keeping us very busy. And I think for us, it's, um, it's just made us more um, disciplined. And focused in life you know I think you know when they say kids change you it's true I mean you you hear it until you actually get to experience it and Jamal coming into our lives has just been uh, I think a wonderful experience for both of us we're more mature um, our decision-making processes is different compared to when we were younger and you know single being being married How old is Jamal now? He turns two next year. Oh, okay. I mean next month. Next sorry, month. <laughs> next year. Yeah, he's he. Well, he actually looks like he's about four years old, and he is he's advanced. His I've, IQ level. I've is been <laughs> following you on social media. I mean, on Instagram, <laughs> yes. and Jamal is a big boy now. Yes. How does it feel like you know being a mother? You know, it's it's surreal because you know sometimes I don't believe that I'm a mother because it it hasn't changed my personality but it's changed again as I said my you know perspective I'm more responsible now I look at him and I say okay well this little person is dependent on me so whatever decision that I make will affect him somehow so I I think before I act now so it's um it's it's a blessing Mm. a life to take care of and yes Clearly, I can see that you're a proud mom. Extremely, extremely. I'm a very hands-on mom. Um, I do everything. I cook for you him. Change nappies. Oh my God, everything. Oh. I take him. I I travel with him literally everywhere I go. Jamal is my handbag. So you're not a like you no, know, with a nanny. Wife. No, no, no. I do everything. You I'm do very, everything. I'm very particular with who I leave my child with. Mm. If it's not my mother I, or my husband or a family member that I can trust, I would never leave my child with anybody. Interesting, because yes. the, maybe looks are deceptive. Because many will feel that oh, maybe you're almost always jet setting your. He's your always party. by my side. He's and always, I, mm. I remember in London um, this earlier this year, I launched my skincare um, line in London, and I did not have my sister or my mom with me so Jamal was on my hip while I was presenting the product wow. so and I had to wake up maybe like five hours before the event mm. I had to prepare get what is ready. life like being a wife of a footballer and a good one at that I mean famous footballer well the perception is that you live a very glamorous life but it's not so 
it's yeah it it has its you know pecs you know um but for you know the true soccer player's wife is not an easy job i call it a job because you know you have to basically you know when you start off being with a soccer player you are in their shadow Mm. and i think for us you know i I was very independent before I met Sule, so it was very difficult in the beginning, but I gave him his moment to shine when it was due, but at the same time, I I had my own, you know, um, independence. You brought something to the table. I brought something to the table, so I think it worked out perfectly for us because he respected my space and I did his, but it's not an easy job because you have to you're constantly moving mm. you're constantly relocating you are you know constantly being talked about dissected in the media but you need to grow a, a, a tough skin how do you deal with such comments i mean many of them are negative many will hit you up of course on social media and lots of stuff to take care of of course i mean yes your baby yes your husband but also those comments on social media how do you i'm too them? busy to follow these comments or even to react to these comments when they hit your husband hard it doesn't get to you you know at this point you know what you're about you know what he's about um i know what i do and what he does so it doesn't necessarily bother us or change what ever a point where something really did before like what Mm. well there i can list a whole bunch of events or situations that happened in the past where it did affect us but as i said um, you know what you have at home, you know, um, as long as you're happy, you have a good family support system, which I do, and I'm blessed by that. Um, I think you just need to grow a, a thick skin and focus on what's important, because I'm taking care of over 400 kids in the central region of Ghana. Mm. Every month or every term, I have to figure out exactly how much money i need to you know send over to the school in terms of their uniforms their books um gas money for their vehicle that picks them to and you know back from school i have a lot of responsibility you do that yes i do 400 kids over 400 kids god bless your grace thank you thank you so, so you're saddled with that and uh, you're not affected you know by the comments negative comments that will come out honey when I have a little bit of time off, I like to travel. I like to relax my mind. <laughs> so, you know, to rejuvenate my body and soul, I don't have time for that. It used to bother me, but I think with age and experience, it just goes You've got over on top mm. of your head. Yes. Interesting. Ever been a point where you've said to yourself, the well, a lot of ladies will want to have my husband or ladies around him and boy bye (laughs) boy (laughs) bye Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know exactly what you said i know what i bring to the table right so if it's not good enough it's not good enough you never fight for a man you know he he knows what he ever had a a time like that where you you thought maybe those too close for comfort or some ladies getting around vice vice versa okay and he vice versa how do you guys deal with (laughs) that you're all celebrities in your own right no but how do you discuss that i really want to know he's extremely jealous Ah. yeah he's extremely jealous Um, so when he sees you around other men he wants to know what's going on and he does Is it really that yes. hard, nuts, and tough guy and bad boy that he could actually come no. and slap the person? No. No? <laughs> He's very respectful. Mm. I think with him, you know, what you see on the pitch or, uh, you know, what you see outside mm-hmm. is totally different from the person he's at home. Um, I think he's the most sweetest father. Oh. No, Sule sweet. I mean, when you see how he interacts with Jamal, it's just amazing, you know, and you just want to have more babies for him. <laughs> you know? So why that demeanor on the on, on the pitch and, you know, sometimes he, people say he he's gets to over, he's, overreact he's, and he he's, gets angry easily. And no, he's focused and he doesn't like to be bullied. Mm. He's focused and, you know, he's a very disciplined individual where, you know, he does not want to be taken advantage of he he loves football he lives he breathes football that's Mm. him so when you take advantage of that you know you see the other side of him um but again when he's at home when he's a family man he's a totally different person tell me about it and be sincere 
you believe that he's a better person than when you met him character wise you know, I think we've both style wise yeah yeah yeah, yeah. We've, we've grown mm. we've both grown we've been together for how many years now oh god forever how many years we met in 2006 so do the math <laughs> so that, that, that gives you some 11 years yes wow and you've been married for We've been married since 2010, so seven wow. years. Seven years now, yes. and still going strong. Yes. There were stories that, you know, well, it wasn't a match made in heaven. This <laughs> marriage will not last. This relationship is for money. Do you hear some of these comments? I did all the time. And my poor mom will call me, oh, Mine, what is happening? Mm. Is this true? What happened? I said, you know what, just forget about that. Um, you know, when... I think from the outside, you know, when you look at, and a lot of soccer players have this reputation of dating a model or an actress. Actress, Yes. Yes. So they go, oh, here we go again. Another soccer player with an actress, a model, is not going to last, you know. Um, But I think what has worked perfectly well for us is the fact that we're still very private. We're public people, but we're still very private. Um, we keep certain things to ourselves. Like, you know, you, you can't share everything with the rest of the world. You can share some. Mm. Um, or you give people what they need, need to, to know. know. And that's I love it. You manage it. Yeah. Simplicity. Yeah. Um, I don't need to tell you, oh, um, I got mad at my husband mm. last night. Okay. What, what are you going to do about that? Great. It's none of your business. In marriages, that. there are ups and downs. But I think what is so important is the fact that you, you know, the... The two people in the marriage respect one another and they know how you know know how far you can push each other you know the boundaries the boundaries yes hashtag mature talk yes i'm i'm a grown woman now <laughs> what, what about sule muntari made you accept his proposal aside the fact that yes he's, he's a star and he's rich are you going for the money by the way <laughs> <laughs> my mom is like, why are you digging for gravels? <laughs> oh, <really? laughs> no, no. She doesn't have the money? No, 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 no. She, she's just, um, you know, teasing. Cause okay. they go, yeah, you're a gold digger. Like, yeah. you're digging for gravels. Mm. No, I think what, what it was is his personality. Again, as I said, you know, he, you know, has this very soft spot for children. And, you know, having 18 nieces and nephews... Um, he would just do anything and everything for my nieces and nephews and they fell in love with him so it's just an automatic you know feeling what did you guys first meet what did you meet in Germany in Germany yeah you knew him before the first meeting no 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 how did it happen long story I think (laughs) (laughs) it just did Um, we just met and he took my number from my cousin and Uh, one thing led to the next is he a romantic guy he tries to be. You know, he lived in Italy since he was 15. So, and Italian men are very romantic. How old is Sule now? Sule is 32. Football age, real age? <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? Let's, let's ask oh him. Now. Of course, we'll, we'll, we'll he's, ask him. He's 32. <laughs> you believe that? You I know that? that, yes. Okay. Yes. He's 32? Yes. Why that smile and grin? No, because you're smiling. <laughs> so I'm reciprocating the smile. Fantastic. But he's a romantic guy. Yeah, he's, he's Italian. He speaks fluent Italian and he opens your door. Oh, yeah. that's so sweet. He tries. But once in a while, then the zongo comes out small. <laughs> like. <laughs> when was the last time he did something romantic? I mean, over no. the top for you and you're like, oh, that's my guy. You know so the sweet. way, you know the way to my heart is through my stomach. Ah. I love to eat. I love, love, love to eat. So he always, you know, cooks for me and, and he knows I love to travel. So he would go out of his way to take me to my favorite restaurant, maybe in Paris, ah. to have a nice meal. So you fly from Italy to Paris to have a meal? Why not? Fantastic. That's life and living it. Why not? Business class, hard. first class. Private oh, jets? Oh, lo- the local ones, the <laughs> <laughs> economy. <laughs> oh, no, no. Because I see you on Instagram and it's, you know, all good what's, and well. You've earned it. So what's why not? that, um, what's that, um, that airline? Is it Jet? Easy, easy, easy Jet? jet. Yes. Oh, really? Yes, yes, yes. We have our air miles. <laughs> <laughs> But you know, let, let's talk about. I I know you were Miss Universe, Miss Universe Ghana, two thousand and four. Yes. Wow. We'll get into that. And now, and that's what I call perseverance, focus. You went in there as a contestant. 
how many years on you have 13 years on you are the franchise holder you you've gone in yes, there to sir. get that yes, that's sir. determination that's one being focused and <laughs> preparation you know meeting opportunity mm-hmm. we'll, we'll get into that and we'll talk about it some more but has religion ever been an issue for the two of you you're a christian is a muslim you know no not at all not at all no no never come up no he, we're always saying, you know, respect Saw one another, respect my FM. religion, I respect yours. Um, he's fasting now, so um, I respect what he does. He's very disciplined when it comes to Ramadan. Um, he will fast and still train. That's deep, you know, that's heavy for, you know, a person that um, is fasting and training at the same time. So I give him his space to, and his, the, the respect to focus on his religion and he does mine as well um i think most importantly is just just um knowing that there's there's one oh, god you know a god FM. people take re- uh, religion so too seriously and that's where you have been you know there's a lot of issues when it comes to religion but i think at the end of the day when you have respect for one another um, is what really matters the most. Because I know that, what that, that we have, yeah. there are some people listening to us and, well, okay, so maybe they're, they're even Christians, but one is a Methodist, one belongs to, you know, a charismatic church. It doesn't church, matter. Or maybe a Muslim, a Hindu, no. and then it's a major issue. You believe that it doesn't matter? It's who you are as a person. Are you going to go to church? Since you belong to same faith and it makes it easier, raising the kids and understanding each other. No. It's one God. It's just respecting that respecting the other person's space i mean we've we've never had any issues with religion interesting what has been your major challenge you know as the wife of Sule Muntari? i think it was constantly um trying to ex- you know not explain myself but you know as you said earlier on it's always okay well she's a model she's uh um she's a beautiful girl with this soccer player and she's in for her uh, for his money, money. Mm-hmm. so i think the struggle for me was constantly um prove myself as an independent FM. woman as well because it was never good enough for the audience you know well she's doing this um she has a school she's supporting this um, um orphanage or she's providing free quality education for mm, a school in the central mm. region that's not enough that's not good enough well she launched her her skincare line well that's still not enough so it's almost like constantly proving myself and for that, people to just accept and that's been the a fact challenge that, for you. yes just people to accept the fact that yes she also is bringing something to mm. the table. Mm. She's a businesswoman. She's a philanthropist. She's a mother. She's a wife. Wow. And that is a lot. A lot indeed. And now let's get to meet you. There are lots of messages that are coming in, but you can also send in yours. What's up line is 0262 518 That's 0262 0262518268. This is Star Chat. My name is Bolare. And of course, we're here with Mrs. Montari. Minoye Donko. And of course, Sule Montari joining us right here on the show on Star 103.5 FM. We're also live on uh, Ultimate 106.9 FM in Kumasi. If you're in Takwadi, you're listening to us on Empire 102.7 FM. And of course, Cool 103.5 FM in Ho. That's in the Volta region. And a big thank you to our sponsors, Guaranteed Trust Bank. Wouldn't you rather bank with us? Bell Aqua Mineral Water, Proli Ghanaian, Johnny Walker, Keep Walking. Apollonia City is proud to be associated with this great show. And also we send a very big thank you to Stella Lodge and Apartments in Takwadi. A big thank you to Premium Motors as well for joining us on Star Chat. In doing all of this, let's get to meet Meno Ye Donko. Where were you born? Because you're mixed race, right? Your dad is from, your mom is from? My mom is Ashanti, father's Fanti. Oh, father's Fanti? Yes. So your skin color and all of that, where is Magic. <laughs> really? I'm just joking. My mom is part Irish. Oh, your mom is part Irish. Yes, okay. part Ghanaian. Part Ghanaian. Yes. Right, so growing up was where? Growing up was in, yeah. um, Ghana, Boston, and Canada. Ah. Yes. I was born in Canada, but um, we relocated to Ghana. So, breaking school was where? 
um, gone actually. Yeah, which school? Morning Star. Oh, you went to Morning hey. Star International School. <laughs> yes. Okay, okay, okay. And then secondary was where? Secondary was in Boston. I went to high school in Boston. In Boston. Yes, Boston, okay. Massachusetts. MA. Mm. Yes. And uh, how was it like? Let's let's talk about growing up and you know. Growing up was, I think I. Were you a tomboy? Because yes, you, actually, huh? I I was. I have four brothers, so you can imagine. Um, you know, growing up with four brothers in our household, um, mm -hmm. I think for me, I've always had this, um, I, I say to myself that I'm blessed. I've been blessed since I was a child because my family, we're such a close-knit family and I'm very protected. So you have your mom, your dad, your four brothers, your two other sisters and everything because I'm the baby and everything was okay. Is me the only girl? girl. No, we're okay. three, three girls. girls. Okay. Yes. So everything was, was me okay first. Like they, they always made sure that I was okay. So I had five fathers and four mothers, you know, but I call that a blessing because I got to learn from my older sisters and brothers. And I think that, you know, the morals and values that my parents instilled in me is what I am today. Mm -hmm. You know, I mm -hmm. think most importantly, as I said, is the respect for you, others. You speak fondly of your parents, especially your mom. They've been very... Both, yeah, parents. Yeah, yeah my, my dad and my mom. I think they're... Well, they're, they've been my backbone from childhood. And they would do anything and everything for me. And I think as a woman, we all, you know, having a father figure in my life, you know, changes the dynamics when you're older. Because then you know that you have that support system. And you don't need to depend on a man. What kind of kid were you? Stubborn. I was spoiled. Oh, spoiled. Until I relocated to Canada where I had to, you know, face life, like hustle a little bit. When, when you say you were spoiled, I mean... Spoiled when, as in, you know, I, I was pampered. You. Pampered, okay. Pampered, you know, where, yeah, Mine has to have her way all the time. So my mom said, I thank God that you relocated to Canada because it's toughened you up. You know, so I had the best of both worlds. Mm. I had to experience living in Ghana, the Dadaba thing, right. and then relocating to Canada where I had to find a job. I had to. Um, and you did some odd jobs? Yeah, well, like I, what? I, I worked as a call center representative for Bell Canada. But well, that's a cool job. It was. Yeah. I didn't flip any burgers. No. <laughs> no. You I didn't. wasn't. <laughs> you didn't wait on tables. You didn't. No. No. Mm. I said to myself, no, no. So my first job was um, a call center representative for um, Bell Canada, and then I worked uh, in retail for Benetton. Okay. United Colors of Benetton. So, but then I then I started to grow. I started to mature as a young lady. So I had the best of both worlds. Well, I hmm. I was independent. Okay. Yes, you know. But um, then, how did Miss Universe Ghana come into the picture? Well, I participated in 2004, and I won, represented Ghana at the international level. Mm. Um, it was a, an amazing experience for me. I always say that Miss Universe has been a platform for me and has opened a lot of doors um, for me as of now, you mm. know, being my, my career, my, my confidence level. is I owe that to Miss Universe. And I think as a new director for this brand is my objective and my goal to prepare the next title holder to so positively... So at that time, how, how old were you when you when you competed? I mean, when you took part in the project? I was 24. Tw oh. 23. 23? 23. Okay, Missy. Okay. Yeah, I was 23. Right. And uh, that was in 2004. So that's what? Some 13 years ago? 13 years ago. Oh, so you're older than Sule Muntari. Yes, I'm a sugar mama. <laughs> Interested. Oh, All right, I have, some, I have some messages for you. This says, Bola, this is a great interview. I'm just stuck in my car. I don't want to get out. <laughs> Even, you know, to it, it, into my house. I love it. I respect this lady for her charity work. God bless her so much. Well, thank you. Hi, Bola. I just like your introduction and conversation. Wow. No wonder you're trending. This is a great one. Keep it up. And that's from KG in Kumasi Asukwa. Okay. And uh, doing all of this, coming to Ghana... Miss Universe Ghana. What, was it that difficult back then? I mean, pageants like now. Well, I think um, for pageants, yes, it's it's a competition. However, way you want to look at it, it's a competition. And for a representative or a, um, a title holder, you need to be prepared for the competition because Miss Universe is the biggest it's pageant. Huge. Yes, That's it's, right. it's mm. huge mm. across the globe. This is so important and. For me, it was 
it was like a kid in a candy store. Like, oh. What am I doing? This is fantastic. Wow, look at Miss Mexico. She's so beautiful. You know, you, you question all these and things. And you are representing this great country. Yes. Yes, proudly. Ghana, proudly. Proudly. I stood there. How did it go for you? Refresh our memories. And of course, for many who were in... It, it went mm. very well for me, you know. But unfortunately, a, a lot of people um, right. thought I was from Guyana. Oh, Guyana. They didn't know it was Ghana. Ciao, ciao. <laughs> Sule Buntari just joining us in the studio. Sule, you must welcome. Yes, Kali. Oh, isn't this lovely? Okay, so we're captured. It is, we're live on Facebook as well. Star 1035 FM. And the man is right here joining us. He's uh, down with his fast. He's broken his fast. And join. Sole, you're most welcome. How are you doing, sir? I'm good. You're good? Yeah, after food, yes. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, 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 and tell us, well, I think your wife has a question for you. But in, in, in all of this, some great stuff being said about you tonight on the show that you're a romantic guy yeah. that you're, you're sexy oh, you're a caring father never said sexy. <laughs> <laughs> but how's jamal doing your son jamal is great jamal is great yeah wow that, that guy is everything so he's everything yeah. tell us about Sule Muntari, the father because you know I, I, i've said some things and uh you know minoya has said look Sule is sweet he's cool it's not what we see on the field for you tell us in three Maybe words. Who's Sule Muntari? Just a normal person, mm. like normal people on the road. Right. Um, like the trash guy on the road. <coughs> it's just normal. Normal. Yeah. Nothing. Nothing different. It's just that when I'm on the field, it's different. That's why. Why is that so? So do you have two personalities? I mean, one for the pitch, one at home with your lovely family. Yeah, because uh, when I'm on the pitch, that's where I work. That's where I eat. That's where my life is. Mm. So when I'm on the pitch, uh, I don't see anybody. In my my territory, I have to I have to take care and charge of it. Yeah. That's it. Tell us about this beautiful lady, <laughs> Menoi. I mean, what has kept the two of you going? I mean, if you, I know you were on your bike coming here, so you weren't listening. But if you had an earpiece, maybe you did. But she says she doesn't doesn't listen to the world she's focused she knows what she wants and she has you for you as well with all the tabloids all the social media stuff that is being thrown about how do you feel what has kept the two of you going in the face of all the challenges that people said well they, they will just fall out it will not happen but look at you 11 years on and still going strong yeah but uh, you know people talk a lot um, Stop on a three point I think it's free when you talk uh, maybe if 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 they were to pay, they won't they won't talk a lot. But uh, that's a punchline. I like that. It's free for people to talk. Yeah. If they were to what to pay, pay yeah. to talk, they won't. They won't. And, um, <laughs> I know what I have, and, and uh, she's an amazing woman. Uh, before and after training, I always I'm always uh, uh, cool. I don't have problem uh, at home. Yeah, a little bit when most of the time I, I cause them because I get moody sometimes, but she, she always, uh, she, she's always there. To cheer you up? Yeah. Oh. So at the game, she stays there for uh, maybe 4 a.m. waiting for me. So, you know, little, little things like that uh, make me appreciate mm -hmm. her a lot. Um, she's, she's, she's all. Wendy in Spintech says, Bola, I'm getting married in three months' time, and they are just the power couple that I need. Sule and the wife, Minai, is just a perfect couple. Wow. Okay, so they're just a, a perfect couple. That's what you want to say. And it says that she looks up to you. I mean, that, that's inspiration right there, yeah. that you inspire young people out there. And she says that she's getting married in three months' time. And, you know, she's looking up to people like you. Mm -hmm. Sule. Yes, sir. In, 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 in all of this, we're also getting some tips because it's the first time I'm having a man and a wife on the show as guests. Oh, wow. <laughs> and, and, and you impacting knowledge to people as well and wisdom. What is, what is it that we need to know to, to, to keep body and soul together as man and wife? Maybe three things that we need to know. What is it that you, you do right? For which Mena is with you and I ask Mena the same question as well. Just what do we need to know? Just to respect her. You respect each other. That's the most important thing, I think. Um, that that's first, and uh, trust each other, mm -hmm. cause a uh, lot of people will talk, and then if you put them in your head, it's gonna really really affect you and your your partner. So the most important thing is that you don't hear what people say. You go for what you want. What you want is you.
you want to make the relationship work you want to have a family you want to have a good family you want to have a peaceful home and the women i think they they, they are not difficult but uh when 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 you treat them right you always have a peaceful home and when you respect them that's where things get messy all right so kojo in terms says that i respect sule Montari as well i've gotten a different perspective about him today listening to him on your show cool calm and collected and that's wisdom bola just like he said right on the show and that's from kojo in, in tema interesting i asked you know minnaoye before you, you 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 got in here that yes your relationship is going strong but you are a muslim and she's not and she says it's not a problem never been a big deal how are you able to do this because many also will want to emulate what you've done yeah. How do you keep it going, Sule? Yeah, since I met her, um, she's been a Christian and I'm, I'm Muslim. I think it's the same. It's the same God that we serve. Allah, God, we are the same, same people, and um, it's just a different religion. Uh, it's the way you're gonna call your God. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pray to Allah. It's a different way, but the most important thing is that we respect it. Is each other? Each other. Have you ever invited her to the mosque? No, she can't because uh, I'm not allowed. You're not allowed. Yeah, she Has she allowed. ever I invited you to church? Yeah, no church. Have you been to church? I've I been to church because okay. when I when I was in Konongo, uh, I was I was in school. At, ah, uh, okay. Catholic, I was I was attending Catholic school. Okay. So we every Thursday we 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 go to church, mm. and uh, so basically I uh, I mean in 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 church in church okay. in and out of oh. church, and then for me it's it's the same. Um, the most important thing is that we we we, we respect uh, every religion. Mm. That's it. I love that. Respect is key, and that is the word right here. We we're talking about Miss Universe, and we'll come down, you know, to that. But I want to stay on Sule for some time. On April 30, we all know you walked off the pitch in protest. Mm -hmm. What exactly happened today? For the first time, you know, from from you, we want to know. Uh, and, and what did you hear? Star 103.5 FM. Well, uh, okay. I didn't want to talk about it anymore, but uh, since I'm here, yes. Thank uh, you. I was on the pitch and uh, was was about to, the referee was about to whistle for the end of the first half, and I hear I heard a, a little kid chant uh, racist comment. the racist comment. So I turned my back. I saw the little kid, and I. I, I what I saw, exactly did the kid say? Um, my color, my skin color. He said something about my skin color in wow. Italian. In Italian, okay. So I turned my back. I saw the little kid, and I, I, I lower my voice like normally. I have a little kid also, and I know kids. Um, he didn't do that purposely. He heard it from someone. Definitely, it's gonna be his parents or people around him, or at the stadium. So I said, "Oh no, 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 no! We don't do that. You don't say that." And then I, I walked to him. When I was walking, and then he started running away. So he went behind his parents, and then. I said, no, come, come. So I wanted to talk to him and then tell him what to do and not to do. And that's not good, uh, what he said. So I just took my shirt out and I threw it to him. So I left and then I came back. That was the second half. So the referee, uh, and then after we got a, we, they got a corner kick. So I was in the post and then uh, on my left, there was their fans chanting um, the racist comment. So. I, I was cla I was even clapping for them, so I wasn't I wasn't angry. So I turned I I turned my back. I went on the pitch again, and then the referee ran from nowhere. He came to me and he said, uh, "You shouldn't talk to the to the fans. You you're supposed to talk to me." He he made me really really angry. angry. So wow. I I I told him that, listen man, you have no right to tell me this, and you I I was I was in his face anyway, um, and then he stopped. He didn't stop the game. I told him to, to, but he didn't. So he gave me a look at it. But that was that was what happened. Mm. And then I walked off because yeah. uh, I knew what was going to happen. What was going to happen? Yeah. And you were controlling your, yeah, so your anger. What did the coach say when you first reported to him? What did your coach say? My coach. Yes. My coach is an old man. He <laughs> he he's thinking of himself. <laughs> <laughs> He wasn't bothered? No, nah, he wasn't. But he spoke after. He said the mm. referee wasn't right. He, he, he was supposed to stop the game. But then uh, the whole incident is was, was really, really bad. How do you respond to those who went on social media and everywhere and said you overreacted? When you, when you had comments, because for the first time you've told us what really happened. From 
I mean, people say that, yes, people say that, oh, you overreacted, you didn't have to walk off. Actually, wasn't opposite. Why people or guardian people? <laughs> well, that's about, of course, you also received global support, yeah. you know, after the walk off, and that, that should be stated. But some of them also went to the extreme and, and said that, well, you didn't do the right thing. Yeah, you know, you know one thing? Mm -hmm. um, I have confidence for walking off. I, if they do it today, I'll, I'm going to walk off again. But then there's a lot of people that can talk. But I, I spoke. There's a lot of people that have this problem. Mm -hmm. Not only footballers. Okay. Some people work a normal job. Oh, okay. Yeah, they have this kind of big problem, but they never, they never, they never talk. So what, with reference to racism, right? Yeah. And they don't voice out. They don't, and it's, it's, it's really bad. So, so you, you, you were the voice for the voiceless, and you had to actually make a statement with the walk off. Well, I, I, at that time, I didn't care about what I was doing. I, I, would ju I just walked off because, for me, it was the right thing to do. Because I didn't want to cause any, Menor, any problem. Did you call him immediately? What did he say to you? What was your immediate reaction? I was in New York at that time. I um, had a business meeting then. So, but I kept on getting notifications on my phone. I said, uh-oh, what happened? I think we spoke a few hours later and, and she told me, she asked me if I, I finished the game, I said, yeah, did I okay. play good? I said, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Is everything okay? He said, yes. Okay. I said, yeah. I said, no, and it's then, not. No, 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 you said everything okay? I said, yeah, and then that's it. And then I, 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 I put, I, I put, uh, you hung up. Yeah. Okay. And then later she, she called again because she heard the news again. People started calling her. Mm. And that's why I told her. But for me, it wasn't, it wasn't serious. It was, it was, was that the first time that you had been racially abused? Was that the first time? No, it happens a lot, but mm. I ignore a lot of them. I ignore a lot, a lot of them. them. Did the Ghana FA call to solidarize with you in any way? Did they? No, they so, didn't. The Ghana FA didn't? No, they didn't. Were you expecting them to? No, I wasn't. So one thing is that I'm not a victim. I can handle myself. I, I can handle my situation. I'm not there for anyone to, to call and, 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 and have pity for me, no. I, I was in. I can handle my situation. I can go out of it, you know. But how, it, how about the Black Stars? Did any of the current or old players call you? Um, I think, no, it's only Prince. It's only Prince uh, who, who spoke. Prince Kevin? Yes. Okay. He, he, te he, he, he wrote me. Um, and then Asa. As I did on his Twitter and uh, Bedou and a uh, couple of players, yeah. So not e not even the sports ministry. No, no. I the, as as that's what I said. I said I can handle myself. Mm. I uh, <laughs> I don't really need anyone to do that. I I can do it by myself. So that's it. <laughs> <laughs> so well, you you, you are bothered. You are okay. No, I'm not bothered. Um, so after Majan did call you. As I did. As, as I, I did. did okay. The tweet. Uh, okay, all right. I really appreciate Prince that. Prince Kevin. Prince, he, oh. he did right away. Uh, Yaya Toure did. A um, couple of people did. And then the UN. Yeah. And then, yeah. Uh, yeah. That was a big one with the UN coming in. Yeah. And then Tony Bafu was, was really, really, he helped a lot. Uh, what, what did he do? Maybe today is the right platform to acknowledge him and thank yeah, him. For he, the, yeah, he called. He called and then he spoke to me and then uh, he, he organized the he organized interviews the interview with and CNN. Oh. With CNN, yeah. Pro, pro. FIFA Pro. FIFA Pro, yeah. yeah so, so they helped an and then they turned, they yeah. turned the, the ban. The ban. Anyway, I wasn't even interested uh, in playing whatever uh, <laughs> when, they, when they gave me the yellow card. So uh, even their ban, they, they could have left it there. Um, <laughs> wow. Seriously. Seriously? Yeah. Is that how you felt? You yeah, I wasn't interested in playing, no. Wow. But I went back because... The, the, one day suspended me. I, I seek permission from my coach to, to return to Milan mm. uh, to see my family. So um, I was there when the, the ban was... Uh, Lifted? Yes. So I have to travel back again <laughs> and, and go to Pescara. Yes, of course. Uh, I, I have had big respect for my team and my teammates. Mm -hmm. That's the only thing. But for me... Are, are you still going to be playing with the team since he has been relegated? No, 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 no. I had only six months. Uh, so you are no more going to, okay. No, no, no. Wow. Now let's talk about the Ghana team. Do you miss playing for the Black Stars? Yes, I do. Ghana is my, is my um, country and uh, Black Stars is everything to me. Uh, we made Black Stars, really Black Stars, like uh, Steven, um, 
Lai and Richard Kingston them as a Mojan. And now, yeah, of course, they have amazing players also, like the Jordan and, and, and Achu and, and, and the rest of them. Uh, yeah, I miss I miss it. You miss the Black Stars. But even before we, we, we get into that as well, somebody just sent in this one. That's from our morning show host, Francis Aban. says, final for Mino here, based on the racism episode, will she want to relocate or ask the husband to relocate? And that's for you, Minoye. Never. As Sule said, we're not victims. We, we, when there's a situation, we face it, we deal with it, and we move on. Mm. Sule, so, how, how do you feel about the return of Kosi Apia to the team? <laughs> yeah, good. He doesn't talk a lot. And I, I, I knew him since he, he, he came. He was assistant. Um, uh, and a lot of coaches but now I think he, he has gained a lot of experience so uh, it's important that he, he's back he knows the players he knows what, what is he what, a good coach in your opinion for me yeah he does his he does his but uh, in a simple way and uh, now that he he, he went to um, Sudan I think he's I don't know I haven't watched uh, his game but I think he has gained experience you're ready for a call up from him anytime you will yeah of course if i play and then he he thinks he wants to call me of course ghana is my um it's my home, home. it's my home okay. so um definitely I'll, I'll have you him. spoken to coach chrissy i mean is it true first and foremost that you disrespected him in brazil him yes who said that well <laughs> it, it, it was in the news i mean people said there was some disagreement yeah, yeah. and that's so it's not true with all due respect i told you that people talk a lot so. that's right so <laughs> free. we actually discount is free for them to talk oh okay so we shouldn't actually you know no. believe that high no no but have you spoken to him i mean after brazil no no i haven't well, he doesn't really like talk a lot mm -hmm. he's just like you he's, he's, very, he's reserved. Just quiet. very reserved yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. very nice guy what is your relationship with the current crop of players in the black stars you you talk to them yeah, you good. Guys, mm -hmm. I, I i i talk to them they who in the team do you speak to quite often that oh maybe guys you know you can do this you can do that or maybe well, happy for them all of them oh. um i don't really i don't really have uh different um like a uh, special player in it but uh most of the time i i speak to dede uh, uh um, and also asa and and Wakasu Wakasu comes to comes to Milan most of the time uh, and then but basically all of them interesting conversation and loads of messages here for you Sule and you know here as well you know you many will want to know I mean about Miss Ghana Universe 2017 and you having that franchise but a lot to talk about what was your Twitter handle because you're trending so we want to you know get it out there you know yeah what is yours and we'll get that of Sule and then we'll go for that break when we come we're talking Miss Universe Ghana we're talking a lot of stuff as well with you and Sule what was what, the what's the handle? Uh, mine is at Mine Donkor and Sule's is at Muntari Official. All right, so at Muntari Official and Mine Donkor, right? So yes, keep the tweets coming through. It's right here on Star FM. My name is Bolare, hanging out with Mr. and Mrs. Yes, Muntari, Sule Muntari and Mine Donkor is live right here. We'll be right back after this. Minei, your favorite Ghanaian artist? Oh, um, will be. Does it matter what sex, a male, female? It no, it doesn't. Okay. Your favorite will be? Sarkodie. Sarkodie. Yeah. And why? Sarkodie and this other one, uh, Mr. Easy. He's, Mr. he's Ghanaian, Easy. right? He's Nigerian, though, but he lived here in Ghana. Okay. He's cool, yes. But Sarkodie, because um, I think um, he only gets better and he reinvents himself. So just listening to his music you you can be anywhere in and the that, world and that favorite sakode tune will be which one it was a new one <laughs> <laughs> the one that you play baby how, how how do you feel when she calls you that from day one it's been yeah. baby yeah like Sule. okay yeah so, like so you, you like it no what's the one that you play with the one uh no, I love no. Star Okay, but we'll, yeah. we'll ask him. Uh, yeah. Sule, your, your favorite Ghanaian artist will be who? Obia. <laughs> you don't have a favorite? I like no, him. I like Obia. Sarko really? Sarkodie. Uh, Sarkodie, mm -hmm. Shatawale, Stoneboy, okay. everyone. Everyone? everyone. So, so you they, listen to they, their songs? Yes, then. yes. They, they're doing an amazing job putting Ghanaian name out there. Out there. It's, it's, Do they, it's they play, you know, music from Ghana and Italy when you go to the clubs, the pubs, and 
No, no, I play on my iPod. Oh, on your iPod, okay. Yeah. Okay, but they don't play it out there. It's yeah, not that do. big. They, they do. do a lot. Yes, they do a lot. Mm. Now, Afro, Afro beat is everywhere. That's right. So it's it's amazing. So, And you also, you're doing a great job by bringing them together all the time Thank every you. year. Thank you. To, to detain Ghanaian. Wow. Well. So, we'll be activating the phone lines, but lots of messages are also, you know, coming in here for you as well. Israel says that my regards to Menai. She also every- like uh, Machidedi. Oh, I'm matching today. Yeah, which of I'm matching today's tunes? Yes. <laughs> Mino, which one? Odo handkerchief. Odo handkerchief. We'll see if we have that one for you. Why, why is that so special? Yeah, because it's old school. And I'm old school, so sugar mommy, no? Oh, really? So you love that? Odo handkerchief. Is that it? Are you into politics as well? No. no I politics. stay away from politics. You stay away from politics? But yes. Wow. Okay, so then, <laughs> what, what what is it with you bikes and cars? I know you have a customized, so, you, you, you customize cars in Italy. What's the name of the company? Four FK Motors. Four FK Motors. Yeah. Wow. Tell us what is with Sule and cars. Well, it's another passion that I have. Mm. Um, since I started playing football and we getting a little money. Uh, <laughs> I use some of them to buy cars, so I. I so how many cars do you own now? Two. Two. Oh, two cars. Which two. cars? Uh, uh, one Escalade and then what? Mercedes Benz. That's his. <laughs> That's his. <laughs> yes, mm. I drive it. That's your favorite it. car is. You have a Ferrari. Oh, you have a Ferrari as well. Oh, you don't even know your cars. No, because I, I think he has the garage, so okay. it's, yeah, it's through his And company. is it true that he only allows celebrities no, you no, know, no, into no, your garage? No. Somebody no. just tweeted that. Is it true that he only allows celebrities to his garage in Italy? No. No, 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 no. no. Okay. Everyone. Everyone. Yep. And uh, you do what? You customize the yeah, car? Yeah, we do cost- uh, customization. Um, we repair and then we, we paint, we, we wrap. We do basically everything. Wow. Yeah. Wow. We like hospital. <laughs> the most valuable asset, Minai, will be what? The most valuable mm. assets. What, like in general? It's just in. In general. Apart from your son, your lovely son, Jamal. Me. We're talking asset. Mm-hmm. Me. No, no and said apart me. from Sule. <laughs> you know, you, you cannot put, you know, like. When it is comes it a to watch? Is it a car? No, I don't value materialistic things. Mm. That's just, you know, you can buy at any point in time. But I think just having health, you know, having a good family, wow. Wow. a healthy, happy family mm. is what's important to me. I mean, when you come to our home here in Ghana, it's just the love, right. the, the laughter. You know, there's always happiness at home. You cherish that the more. The, yes. Mm. All these mm. other materialistic things are just a bonus. It's they a fade. Plus. Yeah, mm. they, fade, they fade. You know. Um, you guys are so real. And, and that's what it is. Yeah. You shouldn't place premium. Yes, you can go for it, but yeah, you, it shouldn't you, be that priority without it. it. Yes. yes. So you work hard for it. But at the end of the day, are you happy? Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. is, is, is your son happy? And for us, Jamal yes. is the most happiest kid How many ever. kids do you plan on having? Just another one, no? Also two? Also, like you want three? Mm-mm. Two, two, only two. <laughs> <laughs> only two? Yes, yes. Wow. So that you can enjoy them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right, so we'll be activating the phone, you know, uh, lines. You'll be calling us on 0302231144 or 0302231145. Now, let's get to the big one. You've got in the franchise for Miss Ghana, Miss Universe Ghana. Exciting. How did you land that? And let's, you know, you're launching when? Next week? Tomorrow. Tomorrow, actually. Tomorrow yes. is the, um, the D-Day. Okay. <laughs> um, it's, Tell it's, us about Miss Universe Ghana. Um, it's exciting. I think for for me, um, you know, the title Miss Universe Ghana has always been a part of my brand, you know, and after representing Ghana, it's always been, you know, I've, I've had that torch, you know, you know, representing Ghana everywhere I went. Um, after the Miss Universe pageant in 2004, I still kept in touch with the organizers mm-hmm. in New York. And believe it or not, they were following everything that I was doing since then till now. So um, the communication was there. Um, and it just happened that the license was available. Wow. We had a meeting in New York. How much do you pay for the franchise? Um, I don't want to get into About that. About $50,000? <laughs> <laughs> what's, what's important mm. is 
Do you have um, it? I have it, uh, and the most exciting thing about it is the passion that I have to rebrand this organization. Thanks for putting Ghana on the map because that's one major key. It is extremely important to me because the love I have for this country, I cannot even describe it. You know, having this license for me is, you know, not only promoting tourism, but is to feature and, you know, uh, um, talk about our culture, our mm. food. I hope you're going to art. get the Ministry of Tourism on board this because definitely, it's a big one for Ghana. Definitely. We need um, to be talking to the minister. Definitely. I plan on, you know, paying a courtesy call on the minister. Great. Um, there's a lot of legwork that I need to, you know, put in place mm. um, before the main event, which is September 2nd. September 2nd. We'll, we'll, we'll come back and talk about it. But Prince Owusu tweets and says, wow, I'm enjoying your interview. I believe uh in Sule and I think that he's such a genuine man. That's from Prince Owusu tweeting and uh, we're hitting the phone lines now. Akwesi is on the line from Tema. Akwesi, good evening and welcome. You're on Star FM Akwesi. Bola. Yes. How are you? Very well, thank you, Akwesi. Yeah, we sound good. Uh today today your interview is spectacular. Thank you. But uh I followed this gentleman right from his days at Oweriman in Konongo. Wow. I was then I was then I was oh, small okay, boy. <laughs> <laughs> I was I was then a small boy and I followed him through our men to Okes to the under twenty. Do you know his 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 goal he is scored against South Africa in Kumasi. I was then a first year student in the university, and the way I jubilated, wow. I bola this people people have a wrong perception about Sule, but some of us who know him very well. Mm know that he is a very kind hearted person. Uh, but when he's on the pitch, hey it's a different it's a ball game. Different ball game altogether. <laughs> I just <laughs> I was I thank just, you. <laughs> yeah, before we last if one guy be there. So the more we have no way, right? <laughs> right? <laughs> there's no way I you come for it so oh, I love it's, over funny, it's, a, it's gonna be a really big problem <laughs> okay Dennis from Legon good evening Dennis hello Dennis are you there hello yeah good evening Bola good evening Dennis welcome thank you you're joining us from Legon Sule is yeah. here Meno here is here please go ahead Bola you just did a great thing again and I know Star FM is always on top um um, two simple questions for Sule. I want to find out if he is into bringing up footballers of his kind. Because I have a brother who is so much into him and I, I'm i looking for the opportunity to push him. An academy of a sort? Something of that kind okay. or anything of the miniature. Mm. And then secondly, there was this reportage about him being presented with an artwork which um, depicts an ant eater after walking off the pitch. I want to find out what was going through his mind at that material moment. Thank you, sir. And that's Dennis from Legon. Yes, Sule. Like what? Oh, 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 was going through my mind? Yeah, when you walked, yeah, up the pitch. Nothing. I, I had nothing. I was walking uh, like an empty stadium. So, for me, it wasn't anything. Uh, I felt really bad at that time. But walking off was like normal. I said, me, me, Kofi. Really? Yeah, me call me call It wasn't anything different. <laughs> no, okay. but it's really like that's the truth. Yes, that's the truth. Wow. Any academy? Are you bringing up other people? Are you mm. planning to do so? Yeah, maybe. But yeah, I was uh, I was uh, speaking with Honda, uh, KSK Honda, the Japanese guy. Uh, I'm gonna meet him uh, next month in Great. in Uganda. He has. Uh, uh academy some academy so uh, he wanted to 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 for us to work together to partner and yeah you. so wow. maybe yes because before i said no i didn't want to work in football n nothing but there are a lot of talents there out there and there are a lot of people that we have to help because we got helped and uh, we are here today so we definitely need to help some some kids great uh, move great move I'm going to uh, East Legon, where I have Jerry standing by. Good evening, Jerry. Good evening, Wola. How are you doing? Very well, thank you. The Lord is uh, blessing us. Let's hear you, Jerry. Uh, I just, I'm just happy, in, uh, you know, listening to Muntari. But tell me, ma'am, um, the day he the penalty again, you know, as well. when, <laughs> when he was playing Portsmouth. <laughs> okay. Uh, yes, that day, a friend of mine spoiled my phone. Because... The guy was so much excited that he didn't even know what to do. And my phone was lying on me. And he just took the phone and 
you know, <laughs> smash their food. Wow. I don't know. Yeah. So you want to celebrate Sule today? You love yes, him? Yes, yes, oh, yes, that, yes. Okay, yeah, thank, you, you. thank you. Thank you. Thank you. He says, thank you. BBJ is our last caller from Bowie. Hello, BBJ from Bowie. Yes, Bola, great show, great show. You have the time. Thank you very much, BBJ. Go ahead, sir. Please, uh, you've played in most countries. Um, you've played football in most countries. For you, do you think um, it's only Italians that seem to be racist? And also, um, how do you feel about the winner scored against United in the FA Cup final? Does that stand out to be your best goal? Okay, so that's DBJ there with that question. Yes. Easy. DBJ? Right, so he, he wanted to know from you about the winner or a uh, goal that you score. Uh, yes, when you were playing in Postbop as well. Yeah, but that one, that one was a penalty kick, mm -hmm. so it was no more goal. But uh, I had a lot of pressure on me because Ferdinand, Ferdinand was in the pole, so that was it. Uh, and was the last minute, so we scored and then we went to the final and then we managed uh, to win the, the trophy. So was an amazing moment was an amazing uh year for us uh at post mode so interesting and yeah. uh as we you know get around this one do you think that ghana can qualify for russia 2020 yeah why not mm. um we, we we need to win all the games um and then egypt will come here we we, we win we win them we, we have to win at uh all all the games that's that's the most important. I think we can do it. We can do see, it. Because Siapia is here. You just have to focus game by game. All and right. Then it's not time for a mystery, you know, questions. So today we have mystery questions. Menoye <laughs> and uh, Sule, these are your questions. And here we go. And now, the mystery question. Right. Menoye first, like they say, ladies first. Menoye, what do you have there before I, I go to Sule? Yes. What is there? Can you can you read it out for us? Between Muntari and your son, who will you save in a drowning situation? Jamal, of course. <laughs> <laughs> so this, she didn't save you. Yeah, yeah, Jamal, of course. Oh, no, but you are not supposed to ask that. She ah, said, okay. Who no, will you save? Jamal. Sule, <laughs> <laughs> so, what's your question there? So between Steven Apia and Asamoyan, who in your okay. candid yeah. view is a better leader of your mm. of the team? Right. Steven by far because he's he's Asamo is just a young 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 one. Um Steven has been there for, for so long. He he made blasters, blasters. He was amazing. Uh on the pitch and outside the pitch. He made he made sure that we we were we were comfortable around him. He's a great leader. Yeah. Amazing, amazing, amazing leader. So I I I didn't see I didn't know about Abedi Pele and Tony Abo time. But my time with Stephen Apia was was just amazing, and and uh, Asamo Asamo is doing his. He's he's young. Uh, he's he's trying his best. But Stephen Apia is way 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 way, way, way ahead. Yeah. What was your best moment as a footballer? Um. Best moment. Mm -hmm. Will be which one? I don't really like. Best moment as a footballer, student. like winning trophies, what playing games, and yeah, uh, there are a lot. I have a lot, but I think uh, when we won the three, three, three trophies in a year with uh, Jose Mourinho, with Inter, uh, I think that was the best moment. I think, and then uh, I have amazing mo memories with uh, the Black Stars also. Mm. But then uh, I think that was that was, that was it for you. All right. So, uh, and who has been your best coach? Um, I have I have a lot of them. Um, those who gave me the chance to play football, like Kosi uh, uh, Afrani, it's it's Kosi Afrani, right? He delay, he's, he's he's gone now. He's 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 uh, so rest in peace. Mm. He gave me all the all the uh, possibility to play because he took me from Mukes and then he he, he I went with uh, with him. Um, during the 20s mm. when I was 16 and then oh. he took me to the World Cup African and the World Cup, the World Cup. yeah and then Udinese he saw me so he he made everything possible possible for him yeah. wow <laughs> and as you tune there Minawi he said he wanted a handkerchief 
<laughs> but as we wrap it all up, Sule, Ibrahim Sani just gave me a call and also followed up with a text. And he says, I should find out from you and be, be truthful. Mm -hmm. Didn't question Nancy she give you a call and also Alexa Sani? Ibrahim Sani who? Yes. Sani of the GFA, the, the communications manager. Sani, sir, I, I, he shouldn't even try to call you, talk to you. People like that, you don't deserve anything. Please. You know oh, what? Mm. He... Where, where is he? How did he call you? How did he, he just, do anything? He just, yes, he's listening to the interview no, no, and says no, that. No, 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 mm -hmm. no, no. Don't show me your hand, no. Right, why is he just take it easy? Okay. No. So he, he, What did he want? Yes, he called. And why, he saw, why, why did he, like, right away... He says that Alex Asante... Yeah, and, why... That, that did he who, call you? Who called me? Alex Asante yes. yes. called me. Yes. He that said he called me. Yes. It's not the truth. This guy... Okay, cool, you know, cool down, uh, cool down. You I know what? You know what, what happened? Yeah, I was home. I was at home, right? Okay. And then um, Tony Bafu wanted to talk to me. He wanted to talk to me, and then uh, so he called me, and he didn't get me. So he he asked Alex to call. So I I tried calling Alex. Alex called me. Okay. I didn't know that he asked Alex. Alex called me. So I I saw Alex uh, phone call because I'm 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 really cool with Mr. Alex. He's 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 a good really really good person. Okay. I'm like since I, I I started playing the national team, he's been amazing to everyone in the national team in the in the GFA. He works really really hard. So I I always talked to him. Even yesterday, I think yesterday or the day before yesterday, I spoke to him and then I asked him when when are you going to Kumasi? He said Friday and everything. So I saw Alex miss call and then I call Alex back. And then he said, uh, Tony Bafu is here. He wanted to talk to you. So I, I spoke to Tony Bafu and he told me that, okay, he's in Cairo and he's going to come to Accra, that, that, that. So I said, ah, okay. So we we're talking. And then after that, we we're talking. And then Alex said, uh, I finished speaking with uh, Tony Bafu. And then he said, oh, President Waha on Pese So is that a phone call or that's a call? That's a, they in call our Pasiamano. Mm. You know? So he shouldn't. Oh, baby, let me talk. So he shouldn't, he shouldn't call you and tell you that. Oh, JFA called me, Sunny. You shouldn't know back inka. Okay, when Magana ke for the one now. Back to the Ankalini. What? 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 What, what is that? Sule? No, I say he should, he should keep quiet. Okay. That's not right. He okay. shouldn't. He shouldn't lie to people. He shouldn't lie to lie to Ghanaians. No, he didn't call me. I called Alex to talk to talk Tony Bafu and then he, he gave Senate. the phone to him. Okay. I spoke to him. Thanks for saying that. With, 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 mm. with, uh, with Nyantichi, I don't have problem. I mm. speak to him all the time. Like, uh, most, uh, sometimes okay. Okay. I talk to him. He's, he speaks to me normal. So where from you, Sani Ubabe Defende? Right. One, say, BBC, when uh, interest more more, he called right away. And I'm not sure he's being normal defending you more. Why, why do you do that? Because you're a liar. One. That's, that's the thing. Well, if, let, let's, so let's, let's you don't do things like that. Okay. We are real, real personal. You don't know anything about football. There are many, many people who know a lot of things about football. Uh, that, uh, you don't so have to let, talk. Let, you don't know what, anything about What's your about favorite it? food? Uh, Sule, hmm? what food, what food did you break your fast? Ah, man. Easy, 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 my guy. What's your favorite food? Bengu. Bengu. <laughs> easy, easy. So we'll play your favorite song as well. You know, that's, that's why that's why we going. We really, really like going back, 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 easy, back. Easy, easy. We'll play your favorite song for you as well. Yeah. You mentioned Sarko there, Stone Boy. Which one? Maybe Go Higher from Stone Boy. You said you like that tune, right? You love that tune. Go Higher. That's it. Okay, so as we wrap it all up, Menai, tomorrow what time, please? Baby. Tomorrow. Easy. <laughs> <laughs> Baby, let me talk. Uh. Um, yeah, so tomorrow is the launch of, um, the official launch of Miss Universe Ghana 2017. Yeah, but how many girls in total are you, you know, getting? Well, after the, the launch tomorrow, you, um, all women, Ghanaian women in Ghana, in the mm. diaspora, can um, go on our website, www.missuniverseghana.org.com, to enter, okay. um, to join, uh, participate in the competition. Mm. Um, so, yeah, tomorrow is the launch, and um, after that, we'll give more information as right. to the date of the event. Right. 
All right. So as we wrap it all up, Sule Ali Muntai. Everything cool. Yeah, yes, yes. Everything cool. Yeah. What What do you ask uh, Sunny in Hausa? I want you to be truthful. What do you, What do you say? No, he said you know get says that. No, no, Somebody no, just no, said to no. me that. No, 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 you didn't no, say I that. Said, I said no. Say Bakada Hankaline. Uh, okay. That's what you said. Yeah. That's and that means that you know get says yeah. Abi. So that's what he said. But he said no. I didn't everything. know. I, I didn't like. <laughs> But you know, if you I know had the chance, I would say like a lot. But no, no, it, take it easy. Yeah, take, yeah. take it easy. Take it easy. You know. Cause no, me. I know. Me, I know. Me, you don't come at me because yeah. I'm really, like, really, really, like, truthful, like, yeah. clean. So you don't, you don't bring your lies on me. Mm. No, no right. way. Oh, 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 There's oh, oh, people oh, oh. that you have to take your your things yeah. to them. Not so Sharif Ahmed Tijani sent us that one. He's saying that yes, that's what you said. That Bakada Hankali Ne. Yeah. That one there, he said it. That one, yeah, you should take it like ten times in place. <laughs> he's not. Oh, he's so not we are done. Yes, we are done with the here because yes. of me. Yes, in the, in the so that's why I want you to cool yes. down and just uh, take it easy. Not, okay, not football, not yeah. DFA, not yeah. Obia, Obia. So easy. Nothing. Yeah, he's about Ghana. That's right. She wants to help, and she's, she's going to do it. Yeah, that that's the support that we have to give her. Wow. That's it. Wow. Important people need important support. Like important people need. Good push. Now I push you on my mm. on my for for country. You know. You should be a public speaker. You you you, you, you you're a philosopher. You, you you say great stuff. No no I'm not. But uh, uh, important girls in the Bureau of Bonte. Say the only life I hear really good. No? That's right. Yes, that's what she she, she wants, wants to give back. She wants to give yeah, back. Mm. They can change their life or my life very better right. for, for them and their families. Right. So that's the most important. That anything you are. Mene, tomorrow is right. where you wrap it all up for us now. Tomorrow time and where. Oh, tomorrow is strictly by invitation. Oh, okay. Yes. Um, so we cannot really talk about Reveal the location. The, the, the yes. location and yes. all of that. But we wish you the very best. And in September, that's the big one. And we're seeking sponsorship. Okay. So Any number that they can call? Yes. Uh, because I know there are a lot of sponsors out there who would like to be a part of it. Any hotline? Yes, please. Yes. Uh, well, you can go on our website, www www.missuniverseghanaorganization.org.com. Org.com. Yes. Okay. Thank you very much and go.